Uh, chiropractor three times a week, massage twice a week, good sleep at night, uh, incredible water, uh, glutamine 24-7. Uh, it's my new goal this year is to see how much calories I can eat without the body changing, without it going up. Anyway, he was training too hard, so his body was shutting down. So we pulled him off an hour of cardio, and his body instantly started working. Today. Here you go, Jeffrey. What do you got? You got something? Crazy. Yep. Go. Your body only nourishes is about half of your intake, anyways. I think what? these guys were talking. These are the, these are the comments I'm talking about. Oh. Where people, everybody has their their opinion. Their info, no, their expertise. Oh, the expertise. Ooh, expertise. These guys are annoying. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like no matter what you eat, you know, how much vitamin D you take in, your body only utilizes a little bit. Yeah. What are they? What are those eggs called that have the Can we get rid of these guys? Oh, yeah. These guys are annoying. Come on. Red, you like a dose of apple cider vinegar a day? No, I don't. I don't. I only do it while I do a dry out. I know. I know. If there's a reason to, sure. I know I a lot of people are raised okay. with it. Like, they're, my grandmother gave me that. Oh, okay. Like, Shad, every time Shad would come over, he would grab a spoonful. Oh, yeah? And I think he was like raised yeah. that way to have it. It's supposed to be an immune thing. Yeah. A lot of them. Very helpful. The nutrition is the toughest part for me. I need to have a better understanding of my own body. I have to start understanding the why you make these changes and check and slow progress is better than no progress. Yeah. So Magruder's one of my, uh, uh, yeah, he's one of our Titan crew members. And I think when you guys check in, um, obviously, you know what you're doing and you're writing down your check-ins, right? And I would say keep those check-ins for yourself as well. Write that stuff down for yourself. Yeah, that's the most important thing to keep. Kidding and me. then write down why I changed what I changed. And in the next couple of weeks, you're, you're being answered the reason I did what I did. So we've been open now. The Titan crew has been open for how many years now? Ooh, we've, been, we've been open for shop for three Three years, and not right. one individual did a check-in yeah. that didn't get better in the next couple of weeks. That so that's not one, not one person, um, unless they lied to me, unless they misled it, yeah. uh, which has happened. But they continue to move forward in the right direction, and then they go, oh, well, by the way, I lied about this, this, and this. But nobody that gave me the proper questions and answers and then did what I asked them to do to change – didn't get better. And so write down what I'm telling you, write down what you're telling me as well, the changes I make, and then answer those questions yourself. What did he do? Well, he pulled me off of cardio. I'm trying to lose weight. That doesn't make sense. Why am I doing less work if um, I want to get better and get lighter? Well, Ernest can already tell you what was happening when he was training too hard so his body was shutting down. So we pulled him off an hour of cardio, and his body instantly started working. How crazy is that? We also told him mentally, stop stressing, come down. So those little details goes, okay, so sometimes when the body is shutting down, it's not always just about work more, work more, work more. Mm -hmm. Recover. Am I working too hard? Am I not working hard enough? But these are all answered during that process of that 12 weeks, and you guys can learn how to do this. Great, great info because PJ is going to continue to learn what works for his body, what yep. doesn't work for his body. And he's also an incredible calf workout from Arnold handed down to me, handed down to him. Do you take any natural subs like ashwagandha? <laughs> I've never taken it. But what is a natural sub? Natural. Aren't all supplements natural? Natural subs, it's like the most... Hanging and banging Instagram page. Oh, out there. Woo! Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Follow us on IG at Natty Sucks. NKB, can you let me know what natural subs in your terminology means? Because all supplements are natural. Yeah. So I don't understand the statement before that. I would think the question would be, do you take any supplements like ashagandha? Which is such a fun word to say. Here you go. Do you have a workout routine for a newbie? I'm 40, so I know I can't train like those Ooh. young bucks. Yeah, believe it or not, all my workouts are for beginners and intermediates and advanced. Yeah. There's not really a 
obviously when people think of this, all workouts are for newbies. The only cool thing about it is when you get better, you have a better understanding of how to move through the exercise. That's all it is. But there's no workouts that you go in and see like uh, uh, Ronnie Coleman doing and you can't do. If Ronnie goes into squats, leg press, and leg extensions, guess what? You're probably going to go in and do squats, leg press, and leg extensions. Just different weights and different connection. Here's a Go. Mike, what is your skeletal slash tissue recovery protocol? How many chiro sessions, massage sessions do you get a week? I see you getting adjusted at gold sometimes. Thanks, my man. Keep educating. Yes. Uh, chiropractor three times a week, massage twice a week, good sleep at night, uh, incredible water, uh, glutamine 24 um, 7, Romanian NyQuil, STEM. STEM. The Romanian uh, NyQuil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa! Huh. Hey! What? Huh. Uh, so those are all the things I do. Um, and that's just honestly, besides recovery, is nutrition first and foremost. Um, and not overtraining. Somebody said the other day, it was John. John Anderson said the other day, if you're going to be on the fence, mm -hmm. be on the fence oh, yeah. of undertraining. Right. And I, I do I agree. I so agree at this stage, and I will agree with this. Hardest thing in the world, uh, for me at least, it is it is so hard to be on the fence of not training or overtraining. It's so easy to overtrain, and, and it's fun to overtrain. And, and what I mean by this is that there's a certain amount, a certain reps and sets that you have in the tank that day. Um, physically. Or, or your body will be able to recover in the next 24 to 48 or 72 hours. And, and so what he's saying is if you're going to go and climb that fence and go over it, you messed up the day. You just, you just blew it. It doesn't matter what you're eating. You're not going to recover in time. You overtrained. And that's the one thing that kind of always holds you back. So he's saying come up to the fence and then stop. And that's tough to do because um, maybe – Maybe some days it's hypothetically you go in and do inclines and you do three sets and you're like, chest is good. Anything more and it's too much. And it's really hard to gauge as well, too. It, it takes years to go, I've done enough where I'm going to get better, but I'm not going to destroy it. That's a tough thing. Now, Serge, you got this. You're hand to hand with these people, training these people, these, these like, and you're in a bad position because you're in a time position. Mm -hmm. So, so pay attention to this guys. You're in a position where you have to train them for 55. And the funny thing is there's probably times where they should train for an hour and a half. And there's probably times that they should train for 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. So how do you, how do you gauge it? How do you, what do you do to do the best? Cause you're in a, you're in a bad, you're in a lose, lose situation. Mm -hmm. If you say, Hey, Today, you shouldn't go as hard, and we should just stop now. They're probably like, well, I paid for 55 minutes. I want yeah. 55 minutes. You can always alter the, the rep ranges, the weight they use, and the rest time. But still, it's got to be the 55, huh? Mm -hmm. That sucks. So like, let's say You'd that, have to have a real smart client to go, I get yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Those are the fun ones. I had a good client in San Francisco at the gym I worked. Best one because he bought back to back sessions with me. So we would train for two hours. Oh, okay. So we would, you know, instead of just, we would hit our compound lifts. That took an hour. It took an hour to do our compound lifts. And still today it does. Yeah. And then we did whatever we needed to do after that. So sometimes it was two hours, sometimes it was one hour, sometimes it was an hour and 15, but we just did what we needed to do. Right? It wasn't about time. It wasn't about time. He was the only person that understood that. Yeah. So Jeffrey's talking about when he was training people up in the uh, Castro district. <laughs> that his one client would buy two hours. And so it was never a time thing. And the reason why this is really important for you guys, it goes back to, uh, we haven't put out John Anderson's video. This is a great video because it's coming from somebody that's, that's close to my age that's been doing it and looks like a freak. Um, and is he's freaking phenomenal. He's a one percenter, but he talked about 
and I've talked about it, but I like how he analogized or the analogy that he used is never go over the fence. Just if you have, if anything, just come up to the fence and stop, never climb over the fence. And that over the fence means uh, over training. So, and again, going back to it, Surge is in a position to where trainers today have to train you for 55 minutes, right? And so uh, you'll feel like you're juked if you go in for a half an hour. Uh-uh, yeah. I paid for 55 minutes. It doesn't work that way with training. You could have bad days to where you do three sets of squats and you do 20 reps with 315. You're yeah. done, done. So, you know, that was 15 minutes. And then now you're like, get home where the intelligent person has to go, I've done enough, where most people will not. Most people say, I want 55 minutes. I don't care if I overtrain. So, but Jeff's point was great. His guy would be like, we're in it. We're in it. We're taking our time. No rush. Yeah. That's great. Oh, yeah. And that's the great thing with Bryce. Bryce, uh, when he is uh, mentally here, we train for what he needs to do for that day. Yeah depending on how he feels and I can gauge it. And it's easier for someone to watch you lift and tell you relative to what you're going through. Cause you might, there's days I go in and I'm doing weights and it's like, nothing's heavy. And I, I can do my inclines and go to an incline with 400 and I can go to dumbbells, the heaviest dumbbells they have and go through that and go to the next exercise. And I'm like, nothing was heavy for me today. Um, and, and if somebody's watching it, I, these guys, they're pretty good about telling me, hey, you know what, we, we've we're done for the day. So have a good training partner, guys. Yeah. Regardless. Uh, I'm guessing that's possibly a birth defect. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Um, so in that case, uh, I'm imagining mechanically you have um, coped with the imbalance. So I would say, yeah, I would probably deadlift. Um, change grip position maybe uh, without hurting the longer arm. Because yeah, your one arm is going to be a direct hang, where your other arm is going to be a direct pull outward and hang, and so it'll kind of throw you off a bit. Um, but again, depending on what you want to do and stuff, it, maybe we can find something else that's even better for you and stuff. Get in the Titan Crew so we can kind of see you do some pull downs. Let me see you do some pull ups. Mm -hmm. Let me see you do some deadlifts, some bent over rows with dumbbells. Let me see those kind of things, and then we'll make that decision. How's that? Uh, what is, what's your goal this year? More of a bulk or cut or as strong as you've ever been? Uh, uh, Westside, great question. Uh, the goal this year is to make sure the, uh, believe it or not, a couple things. That the body feels healthier than ever. And so that's going to take a surplus of calories. So um, it will be a lean bulk to where I'm, monetize, uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my calorie intake. Um, and then also the ability to, so you know you, how you said stronger than ever? I would like to see if I can get my calorie intake to an extreme high calorie intake and still utilize those calories without putting on size. So I know that may sound different to you guys, but that just means that my body's utilizing the calories, really eating it up, and I'm burning at a high calorie intake because if that is so, obviously I'll get strong because I'm in a surplus. And if I stay in a surplus longer, you get stronger. Um, but it's really about the calorie intake. I want to get to a high calorie intake this year. Uh, it's my new goal this year is to see how much calories I can eat without the body changing, without it going up. And if that's odd to you guys, it won't be later on in life or when you understand that. Think about, hypothetically, last year I died on that 30-day blitz, right? It's pretty low. Um, trained like a beast. So imagine if I do the 30-day blitz after being at a calorie intake of 6,000 calories for a year. How fast and how different will my body change on that deficit? If you don't know, um, what that means is that I will probably be more sliced, more ripped, have more muscle on my body than I've ever had in my entire life because I set it up for that whole year. So again, it's not about the diet at the end. It's about the calories in the off season. Thanks for the question, man. Can you explain that as a kid? Why would you want to eat a lot of calories and not put on weight? Why would you want to, what would be the purpose? 
as a kid to do that? Just 